Alright guys, so this is the WSP Stinger, one of the better weapons in the game. This is actually a pistol in full automatic form. It's kind of a baby WSP Swarm. I mean, it kind of looks the same, but it does have some insane fire rate and damage, which is pretty ridiculous. The only downside, it has only a 32 ROM magazine, so, well, you kind of empty this so fast, so when pack a punch, you only have 64 bullets, but with mags of holding, this thing, it's a little monster and it absolutely shreds everything and today i want to test this out in tier 3 and i want to test this out in the elder dark ether i'm gonna put the loadout on the screen right now nothing too fancy it's made for pretty much ads movement and all that crazy good stuff and yeah we're gonna hop straight into tier 3 and before we do that if you're looking to unlock mw3 camos such as interstellar and borealis get the best schematics in the game or even get the brand new skins be sure to check out magecactus.com they are the biggest and most reliable sellers they have lots of new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation and PC. These guys have over 10,000 verified reviews on Trustpilot and they are by far the best on the market. Be sure to use code CRAZY for 5% off for a limited time only. Alright guys, so we made it to tier 3 and yeah, this happened. Uh, I also went down because my Scorcher did not work properly, so I, I kinda hit the ground. But I have this weapon pack a punch to level 2 in gold rarity. And as you can see, against the zombies is actually pretty nice. And as you saw in the loadout, I am using the armor piercing rounds because someone told me that actually armor piercing are better than than the default ammo mod. So yeah. And look at this. This is only pack a punch too, and it shreds. This is only pack a punch too, and it shreds. And I absolutely love the fire rate of this gun. It's so little. The the movement is so quick with it. Like it's such a nice, uh, such a nice weapon. As I said in my previous video, I am a huge fan of SMGs and pistols in this game, alongside shotguns. Basically, I'm a huge fan of weapons that you can move fast with. There we go. Second head should be off any second Why right now. There it is, fantastic. Let's get that, that third head off as well. Of course, I'm going to use a termite for this one. And... Is it? There we go. And we get a Wonder Off. Another Wonder Off. Man, I've been getting so many Wonder Offs from, from Mega Abominations lately. It's crazy. I mean, I don't complain. But, you know, it's pretty interesting. Oh, and I thought that was a decoy. Never mind. It's a Semtex. I don't want that. Uh, but I'm going to try to do some more contracts. Try to get this weapon to pack a punch level 3. And then try another HVT contract. And then, you know, hop in the Elder Dark Ether and see what we can do in there. Okay, guys, Pack-A-Punch level 3 acquired. Mega Abomination HVT acquired. Let's see what this does now. And look at that. Head is already off. We're not using any ammo mods. I would have loved to have uh, maybe Brain Rot or something like that to do a bit more damage. But this is going to be fine nonetheless. Come on, buddy. I want you to laser. There we go. Or do that growl attack. Oh, look at that damage. It is so good. This is so close to... What the W uh, not the WSP, sorry, the f -tax Sieges. Okay, that is a lot of zombies right there. Oh my god. I don't know what is happening with this uh, HVT contracts, but it's the Wild West in here. Like, there's so many, so many zombies. It's crazy. Luckily, I did manage to hit that termite. Oh my god. Alright, and there's a Disciple happen coming in as well. When it comes to taking down zombies, this weapon is it's ridiculous. I know a lot of people are going to say that, hey, the Akimbo is better, but as I said, I prefer to hit the ADS button and actually ADS and have better uh, accuracy and everything. And we get a ray gun. Back to back contracts. I get a ray gun. I get Tombstone Recipe and a Wonder Off. Like, what? That is pretty insane. And I'll, I'll happily take that. I think I'll do one more contract. Dude, there's one player. Two players in tier 3. That is insane. I'll do one more contract so I'll have enough money to buy some cell revives and maybe buy one or two Casimirs. And after that, we'll hit the Elder Dark Ether. So I'm not going to bore you guys with Tier 3. you already seen that. it's th This thing is it's melting everything in Tier 3. I mean, if it's a Mega Abomination, you know what? I might just show you to you because I know you guys like to see me take down Mega Abominations. It's definitely my, my hub in this game. And I'm kind of sad that they actually... Uh, took away a lot of the Mega Abomination spawns. But you know what? We do have a Disciple. And I, I feel like this is going to be a good test. And it's going to be a good uh, example for you guys to see if the weapon is actually good or not. 
Because Disciples are pretty much the, the beefiest HVTs in the game. And this weapon... It's kind of melting him. That's of course when we hit the headshots. Look at that damage! Oh, that's crazy good. And he's dead just like that. He's dead just like that. Alright, that was fantastic. I'll get some stuff, go to the Dark Ether, and I'll see you guys in there. Alright guys, here we are. Elder Dark Ether. I do have the Scorcher, but I do have a VR11 in my backpack also. And I just want to get to the contract, to the Escort, because we're going to start with Escort. And of course, I'm going to use the VR11, not the Scorcher. Uh, and luckily, you know what? There was a triangle that hasn't been done in Tier 3, and, you know, I just did it. And I also found the, another Flawless Crystal in one of the contracts. So there we go, we have a Scorcher, we get a Flawless Crystal on this thing. And let's just start this contract, and hopefully, hopefully this time we can actually do this. Because yesterday, on the latest video, I don't know if you guys watched it or not. And if you did, you know what happened. The, the ACV was like at 100 health. The Mega Abomination hit it twice and then it just died. Like, that was the, the craziest thing I've ever seen with an ACV in this game. But hopefully, today things are gonna, are gonna be a bit better. And I also forgot to buy all my perks. Which is not the greatest, but I can, I can go and buy any time. Okay, let's take down this first Mega Abomination. And that should be it. Fantastic. And we get an extra Casimir, which is great. We get some ammo. And let's just straight up start this. Oh, we get two Casimirs. That is awesome. Can you stop biting me, please? There we go. I also want to show you a bit the tax stance accuracy with this weapon. Because it's actually pretty darn crazy. Like, the tax stance, it's, it's pretty darn great. And look at the damage that it does against the zombies in here. Like, if you ask me, this is pretty good. For a pistol, this is pretty darn good. Of course, the armored zombies are going to be a bit tanky, so you need to hit those headshots. But for the normal zombies, you actually melt them pretty fast. And look at that, we're 92% already on the ACV, which is pretty crazy. But luckily, I do have a circuit. And I'm just going to do this and this. Let me heal this one more time. And we sh should be good. Okay, let's, let's get some damage now. Look at that, it's absolutely melting. If you hit a headshot, it's absolutely melting. And this is going to be another one of these weapons that is going to really, really benefit from the controller. A lot of damage, a lot of damage to my ACV. There we go. I don't know if the Mega Abomination is coming here or not. It seems like he isn't. And I kind of want him to come here, to be honest. I think that the circuit can actually hit it from that distance. But I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's just do this. 71%. Look at that. 71%. That is crazy. What is this? Brain rot once again. Let's grab some of these plates. Maybe some ammo. Maybe I should have waited with the circuit and actually stayed until the end. Maybe there was a circuit uh, or a turret at the end. But nonetheless, this is gonna be... This is better. At least we use it on the first one. We we didn't waste our Casimirs or our monkeys yet. Which is pretty darn good. And look at that. That Disciple just went down so fast. Unfortunately, you do burn through ammo extremely quick with this weapon. Because the fire rate is it, so darn ridiculous. But that's just a different story. Let's take that head off. It seems like this is not doing a lot of damage to the, to the zombies. Okay, I'm 78% I'm already. There we go. Very, very nice. Use a monkey on these guys. Very good. I would love to actually get a... What's it called? A nuke. Mega Abomination, whatever you do, buddy, just leave my vehicle alone. I'm just gonna keep healing it until... Whoa, look at the health go down! That is mental! 50,000 manglers shooting at me. Okay, we turned that Mimic. That is somewhat good. There's some more manglers here. 
I think I'm gonna equip these Casmirs. And I wanna throw one down already. Some more ammo, that is good. Throw a termite in that guy's mouth. I missed. But my gun does some decent damage. I don't know if I took down the second head, but... Come on, come on, come on. 94%. We're still good, we're still good. Now the hard part starts. I'm gonna throw another monkey down there. Yeah, there's a turret right here. I'm gonna throw a monkey right here now. There we go, very nice. We have two mega abominations. Two of them, now one, we got two. Extra heal the ACV. Throw another monkey down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, monkey thrown. Extra heals on the ACV, grab some more ammo from the floor. Now I'm not really relying on any of my weapons because I, I really need to, to get this contract done. Oh, those mega abominations are pain. There we go, another heal off, another heal, and we got it. We got it. Look at that, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Mega abominations are dead, but manglers are coming in in waves, man. We get that and that, that is nice. I shall definitely take that. Okay, anything in that room? Looks like there's nothing. I'm gonna equip another monkey. Let me grab this key just in case there's something in the other room. Look at the amount of manglers! Okay, we turned one. That one is gonna do some more damage to the other one, so we're just running away. Anything in that room? Nothing. Man, I'm absolutely the unluckiest person when it comes to, to the wonder weapons. Okay, let's go this way. We grab the next contract. Very nice. Now let's go do it very fast. Again, this is not a contract that you need to focus too much on your weapon. And you will basically use more of your equipment on this than anything else. Try to do that and this. Okay, luckily this one is pretty easy. There we go, nice. I really wish I had an ether blade right now, to be honest. Ether blade would have been really, really nice. But my VR11 should help me a bit as well. I'm gonna use a monkey for this one. Go there. Turn the mangler. Overload the extractor. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Very nice. Only one more to go unlock. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more monkeys or anything after this one. That's not very great, but it is what it is. We gotta get rid of that mimic. Gotta get rid of that mimic. Very good. Come on, two seconds. There it is. Sweet. And that is contract number two done, and we get a dog bone, man. You know what? I got a gold plate. I'm happy with that. Nothing in that room also. Holy zombies, man. Anything but mimics can 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 fight me. I hate when mimics are are, are running over. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a very tough one. Okay, we go this way. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, mimic. No, not a mimic. Where'd you come from? Kill, 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 kill. I might go down trying to start this. Yep, I, I got cornered. That's totally fine. I'm just gonna use my selfie. I don't want the doggo to, to rest me. Maybe he will survive for more than five seconds. Nothing in this room either. And nothing in this room either. There's not even one wonder weapon. That is crazy. Not even one wonder weapon. Oh, it's not not even one because I don't have that perception. <laughs> nice, 
Not good, not good, not good. Let me just do this fast. We go down here, grab the key, go back up. I forgot I don't have their perception, man. I can't believe I didn't buy all the perks. We do that. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing. That is a decoy. I'll gladly take that decoy. Sixty-one percent. Mega abomination right here as well. Let's use his WSP swarm a bit or stinger. Sorry. Look at that tax stand spread. It's so freaking good. Head is off. Very nice. Manglers everywhere. Oh, it's melting. And that is contract. What is that? Dead shot already have dead shot. Mega just came up here. The Mega just came up here, man. That is crazy. And we get an Ether Blade. Let's go. Did we get the case? Yes. That is fantastic. Let's take down this Mega now. We still have three minutes left on the clock. Fortunately, nothing there. And now I want to go and take down the, the orb as well. But let's check in there. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, and I kind of want to do one more thing. I'm going to go here. Grab this thing. And I'm going to go check this house. Because if I don't have their perception, there might be something in there. And I could miss out on a Scorcher. Let's see. Am I going to get that Scorcher or not? Also, there's going to be a Mega Abomination on the shoreline. That I might have to take down. Anything in here? Nope. That is unlucky. I'm definitely the unluckiest person when it comes to... When it comes to this uh, these rooms. I never find anything. There we go. We go this way. Okay, let's take down that stupid orb now. There's two Mega Abominations here. That's ridiculous. We throw a decoy there. And let's get to work on this orb. Let's do that. Turn one of the zombies. So far, so good. Turn another zombie. Oh my god, look at that damage. Head is off already. Even at that range. That was good. Oh, and these zombies are quick. These zombies are quick. And there we go. He's down. And we get... It's just an epic tool. A bit unfortunate. But that's fine. Let's try and take down this big ugly bastard. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Come on buddy, you're almost dead. Go down. There we go. And a Juggernaut suit. I'll take that. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here because we only got one minute left. You know what? I'm happy. I got an Ether Blade case. I got a gold armor. We got a dog bone as well, which we used and the dog died immediately. So it's a it's a decent run. It's a decent run. I managed to get a legendary tool and a pack three crystal. I'm happy. I'm happy with what happened this game. But also, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about this weapon. Do you think the WSP Stinger is good or not? 
do you use this weapon often and if not what is your go-to gun let me know if you want uh, to see anything in particular on the channel thank you all for watching subscribe for more like the video and i'll see you soon Bye bye